Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to integrate the AI behavior toolkit into a project that is using the advanced locomotion system. So right here, we have an AI that just runs around randomly. Nothing special. Now, our goal is to have this AI make use of the animations provided by the advanced locomotion system. So first of all, let's open BP and PC base and reparent this one to the ALS animan character BP. Go into the event graph and right here in the event begin play, right click this one and add call to parent function. Compile and save. But next, we need to make sure that our AI is actually using the mesh and animation blueprint from the advanced locomotion system. So just click this yellow arrow right here. This will reset everything to default. And let's assign ALS anim BP to the anim class. All that's left to do is to make sure that our collision settings are correct. We need, we're looking for this climbable channel, which needs to be set to ignore. So we'll just click this one and custom set it to ignore. Do that for the mesh as well. Custom ignore climbable and for the melee collision. Now that's done. We need to go to the anim BP. I mean, I mean the blueprint of the ALS anim man and disconnect this update coloring system. The reason we need to disconnect this one is because if we're using a different uh, skeletal mesh other than the anim man, we are going to have big FPS drops. So if you're planning on not using this character right here, make sure to disconnect this in order to avoid any FPS drops. Now, if you play this, we can see that our character is now using the animations from the ALS. Now, the next thing we need to do is to implement the parkour system. So ALS has its own mantling or parkour system and we're going to make use of those animations for our AI. To do that, let's open up BTS Parkour and go to the event called On Vault or Climb right here. What we need to do here is we're going to replace most of these nodes and functions. So let's go ahead and delete Make sure to leave this one out, the get forward vector. We're going to need that later. As well as this delay and change behavior node located at the very end. Now we need to get the character reference. Sorry, this one. Cast that to BP NPC base. And we're going to make use of the mantle check function. Now, the problem here is this mantle check is also being used by our player character. So we need to duplicate this and make a function that is usable for the AI. So double click this, search for mantle check and right click duplicate. Let's name this one mantle check AI. Now over here, we're going to replace this get player movement input with something that the AI can use. So let's create a new input parameter of type vector. Call this one forward vector. And going back here, let's replace this one with our mantle check for the AI. And we're going to plug this get forward vector into here. 
and this one over here. Now we need to connect this forward vector to the nodes that is previously connected to this get player movement input. So if we connect those, now our next issue is our climbing and vaulting animations have different durations. So this delay node should have a dynamic value. In order to do that, we need to know if we are climbing or vaulting. So let's go back to mantle check AI and just create a new output parameter of type float. Let's name this height. We're just gonna connect this mantle height. Oops, connect the mantle height over here and get this one. If it's less than 150, then it that means it's probably a vaulting animation. So connect this. So if it's so if this is true, we go one second. If it's false, that means it's probably climbing. So let's have two seconds delay. And last but not least, we need our we need to connect our trace settings. From here, we go get the grounded trace settings, compile and save. And in the BP and BC base, we also need to edit the ground trace settings. So this reach distance should be set to 300 because that's the default value for our Parker system. And let's just make sure that our AI can actually do parkour. Make sure to check this can parkour boolean. All right. Now in order to test the system, we need to have our AI follow us so we can get over this platform right here. So in the behavior component, let's just set the initial behavior to follow. And in the follow settings, make sure the target tag is player. And for our player character, we just need to add the tag player. Go over here and it should be able to climb now. No? Oh, uh, there you go. That took a while. Let's see that again. Oh, uh, there you go. So now you're going to notice that our next issue has something to do with the landing. As you can see, his his foot, uh, he has a foot locking issue where his feet get left behind. So in order to fix that, we go to the animation blueprint. This ALS anim BP. And we need to find main movement states. Right here it sets land to grounded. We need to edit this transition node right here. Instead of equal to zero, we need less than 1.5. That way his feet won't get left behind when he lands. So let's try that again. And if you drop down, There's no foot locking anymore. Come on. All right. Now the next thing to do is to make sure that our movement uh, speed is actually uh, being controlled by the behavior component because by default, the ALS has control over the character movement speeds. So in order to do that, we need to go to the ALS character BP. 
this one right here, the base one. And let's search for update dynamic movement settings, this one. So as you can see here, it's overriding the max walk speed and max walk speed crouch. We don't want that because our behavior component has the ability to control movement speeds based on behavior states. So you just need to disconnect this one and over to the BTS match speed, which is used for uh, matching the speed of our followers. We need to clamp uh, this value right here to 200 instead. The reason being is ALS actually looks weird if the speed is less than 200. So if, it is, if, the, if the speed is too slow, we actually have weird animation problems. So let's just say that our minimum speed is 200. Now some final things. Uh, our Anim BP for the AI Behavior Toolkit actually makes use of different Anim notifies. So like this one for performing uh, melee and range damage attacks. So we'll need to copy these into the ALS Anim BP so that we can still make use of uh, damage dealing and spawning of projectiles for our AI. If you, have, if you have other anim notifies as well, make sure to copy those. And if you're making use of the example characters, for example, this com companion right here, you'll have to reattach the weapons into their their, their respective sockets uh, for whatever, for example, the hand or the back. All right, so that's that. As you can see, we now have our AI character making use of the advanced locomotion system, its animations and all that stuff. I hope you found this video helpful and make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this for the AI behavior toolkit. Cheers.